Um, hi. Are we focused? Hello guys. Um, so here's the thing. It is nearly midnight on a Saturday night right now and I just, I just have the urge. I have the really strong desire to reorganize my bookshelves, specifically the bookshelf that is behind me that you guys always see. Let me let me explain what happened here. This is this is why I'm the way that I am. And once I have something set, I just tell myself not to touch it because once I start messing with it, it will drive me insane and I will rearrange it for the next freaking month straight and I will never be happy with it. <sighs> what had happened was I just read the fourth book in the Crave series or I attempted to and I didn't love it. I didn't vibe with it. I had to DNF it and I keep the Crave series in the background here and I'm not like disowning the Crave series but I just was kind of like I didn't like that book so I don't really want it on display behind me all the time, like you can see it. So then I just like started thinking and I was like, honestly, all these books, I like them, but like I haven't even read the Throne of Glass, Throne of Glass series yet by Sarah J Maas and that's like chilling right there. People always ask about it and I'm like, the white books. But I'm like, yeah, they look beautiful. I haven't read them yet. Um, I haven't even read all the Shadowhunters books yet. So I'm like, shouldn't I have books behind me that like I love and always talk about? like? which made me think of The Fault in Our Stars, obviously, because it's my favorite book of all time, so I stuck it here, but I'm like, okay, it doesn't make sense to be stuck here because like, a vampire romance, Augustus Waters, it doesn't really go. So then I've just been staring at this for the last, I almost fell down, we're gonna act like I didn't. I've just been staring at this for the last 24 hours and I'm like, I kind of have the urge to just redo all of it. My dilemma is too, I kind of like having my favorite books in my bedroom because it's like close to me and they're like, I, this sounds absurd, but when I come in my room, my bed isn't made right now. Y'all are getting real raw footage of Nikki on a Saturday night. Um, when I'm sitting here on my bed, I always like look at my books, right? Like POV, you are me on a daily basis. Like I just like to look at them so i like to see my favorite books here so i'm like do i want to put them in the living room where i won't see them as much do you understand what i'm going through right now um but i think i am going to switch it up i feel like i want to brighten up the background a little bit i want to put some of my favorites back here get a little more colorful with the rom-coms also just in general the majority of this is fantasy and like fantasy was my first love and i still love her but I've just been on such a rom-com kick the last year and that's just ro romance in general. So I feel like that's what should be behind me in my videos to represent me, you know? I don't know what I'm saying, I'm just rambling, but basically I'm going to rearrange these shelves and I thought I would film it. Maybe do a little time lapse, I don't know what's gonna happen yet, but um, yeah, first I'm gonna start off figuring out somewhat what I'm gonna do and then I'll check back in once I have an idea, I don't know. What is this video? Okay, hello guys, we're back. I had to change my shirt because um, I got hot. <laughs> this is difficult work. But this is what we're left with right now. I'm gonna keep my Harry Potter shelf up here because it's just, it's just immaculate. Like we've got Draco, we've got my wands. Got my little Slytherin book, my nine and three quarters. Like she's she's staying, she's ultimate. We we love her. We have no qualms about her. Um, these shelves are kind of what we're working with, and then this down here, these are my original Twilight books. I feel those have to stay on display, obviously, because it's just like all time favorite. Also, I have three. Hello, Draco. Draco number two. Um, I have three different copies of Twilight. Should I show you them real quick? Well, just make yourself at home, sir. Um, <laughs> my other copies of Twilight are over here in this little unit I have, and this is the rest of my Shadowhunters. The Infernal Devices is right there. And then in my room, we have my white editions of Twilight right here. So I kind of like that they're all in separate 
rooms of the house because my camera was balancing on my hello fresh box i don't want to talk about it but yeah so i think i want to keep those there the question is just what do i fill in right there with i'm kind of thinking maybe a court of thrones and roses that series i think the akatar series might fit there nicely and then i feel like my other dilemma is i think i want to put like my favorite romance books here that i've already read but I have the, the issue of like, do I want to split up books from authors? Like I have my whole Colleen Hoover stack over here, but it's like, do I take out the books I've already read that are like my all time favorites and put it on that shelf? I'm kind of thinking maybe. Also like Mariana Zapata, like I feel like The Wall of Winnipeg and Me must be on display. I don't have this issue for The Fault in Our Stars because I have multiple copies of that. So like I can just put one out there. I really need another copy of The Hating Game. I've been dying to get the UK version, so I think I might do that so I can have one out there and one in here because I'm psychotic. Um, I have two copies of Ugly Love because I have a signed copy and then a not signed copy, so all good there, but um, yeah, I haven't advanced much <laughs> in this video. I'm still just rambling, but, and then I also have my entire Percy Jackson sh shelf in here that I'm like... Maybe I could put that out there, but again, I haven't read all of these yet. I've only read The Olympians. I need to get back to that series. I feel like I only want things behind me that I've read. That's what I'm personally feeling. So I think I'm gonna do that. Okay, I need to strategize some more. <laughs> Okay, it's been uh, a good 20 minutes and I think the only thing I've come to is I'm gonna do this for the bottom shelf. We've got our little vampire romance all-time fave section, the Twilight series and the Blood and Ash series. It looks a little empty but A War of Two Queens literally comes out in like eight days so that'll be another book I can stick there and then it should hopefully be fine. Now these two shelves I'm kind of thinking of putting the Devil's Night series here by Penelope Douglas. Like I'm thinking of kind of doing like a spicy dark romance shelf and then just like an all time favorite shelf. What's literally plaguing me is whether or not I should either split up my Colleen Hoover books and just take my favorites or if I should just put this whole stack there because we talk about her on my channel like all the time. Why is it so dark in here? Okay, that's a little better. Um, we always talk about Miss Hoover, so I'm like, should we just put the whole stack in there? But it's kind of nice here as well. And it might trigger me if they're separated from each other. And then right here, same deal, we have my Penelope Douglas section that I love and adore. My all-time favorites of hers are the Devil's Night series and Credence. And I have two copies of Credence, two different editions, so. Maybe I take the original and I take the Devil's Night series and I put them out there. My shelves are very dusty. This is giving me an excuse to um, dust them, but I'm kind of thinking I'm gonna do that. Okay, we're just gonna have to try it. <laughs> like everything, you just don't know till you see it. So let's give it a try. I think I'm done out here for now. What you just saw, I didn't plan at all, um, but it has come to my realization that I guess so many romance books in general, like rom-coms especially, but like all of my favorite books are blue. Like it's something I've always thought about. So I started like grabbing the books that I've read that I love that are like my favorites and like they're, they're all blue. So I think we might try out this like aesthetic little blue shelf and then we've got my my holy trinity of favorites proudly on display with some other close favorites in between. And I think it's kind of really fun and different. Knowing me, like I said, because I've gotten on this kick of like switching it up, I might very well change this in a week, but 
Update, I put the Faulkner stars in the middle because it was bothering me that it was taller than the other two and also it's the ultimate. So that just, that just works. That makes a lot more sense. Then down here, we've got our little spicy section. So Devil's Night series, my little in book. I got this at an antique store. It's like an in that's cut out of a really old book. Very cool. I love seeing it in the background of my videos. I think it's fun. Um, I might need to scoot this section back because it's much closer than the rest. I don't know. Um, and then The Wall of Winnipeg and Me by Mariana Zapata and then Colty by Mariana Zapata. Another just, I mean, this is like an all-time, all-time, all-time favorite, favorite just in general of my life. But um, love that. And then The Twisted series by Anna Huang, which is a new mega fave of mine that I'm just obsessing over. So, and it totally fits in with this sort of vibe. Wall of Winnipeg and Colty aren't like as spicy as the others, but I just feel like the vibes go. And then you already saw this down here. So now I just need to figure out what I'm gonna do with my shelves in my room because I have to add in all my Shadowhunters books and stuff. So um, yeah, <laughs> let's move in there. You know what's so beyond irritating? I just like, I. this is my little like ultimate author shelf, right? My Colleen Hoover, my Mariana Zapata, my Penelope Douglas. And I was like, look how perfect all of Penelope's books fit that I have. But I forgot, I'm like, oh my God, I'm currently reading Bully. This is the second book in the series. But I'm like, you know what? I can like squish it over, it can fit. But then I just remembered she literally has Falls Boys coming out in like eight days as well. So where's that gonna go? I guess we'll figure it out. I'm telling you, I'm gonna be reorganizing these shelves for the next month. I love it here. Also, something so satisfying here, if you see Colleen Hoover, these two books, Verity and Heartbones, are her like indie books. She self-published them. So they're longer than the rest of her books. But look at how satisfying it is that the Mariana Zapata books fit directly under it in this stack. Like it couldn't be more perfect, literally Tetris. Mariana Zapata also has books that are different sizes, and it didn't trigger me as much when I had Wall of Winnipeg and Colty over here because they were the same size as this, as under lock, but now it's the only tall one. I'm just gonna ignore it or I'll let it ruin my life, um, but original, my original copy of Corrupt, ugh. I low-key want the original copies of the entire Devil's Night series, especially Nightfall with the chandelier. I think I would sell a kidney for it, but, um, then I will have to have the entire series, and then that's just just another chunk of shelf space taken up, and I don't need to do that. But I want to do it. But I shouldn't. Really? Dude, come on. Oh my god. Hello. Okay guys, I think it's been two hours that I've been doing this now and I I think I'm done. It's always so fun to organize the bookshelves until you get to this last point where you're at the last shelf and it just ends up being a mixture of miscellaneous crap because you just, it doesn't, they don't all fit within other categories or on other shelves. So you just end up with a jumbled mess. That's what this shelf is down here. Um, off-campus series, Nicholas Sparks books, Inheritance Games, Ravenhood, uh, The Simple Wild, like a couple random romance, Addicted series, part of the Maid series, and then just like <laughs> Nicholas Sparks and a book about a demon romance should not be on the same shelf. But like, what what am I supposed to do? Um, I guess I'll give a quick little overview. You've kind of seen this lighting situation. Not cute, but um, pretty much up here. I tried to separate it like romance, fantasy, but then it kind of got jumbled at the bottom, so just ignore. This is my like 
meaning of life slash just like feel good coming of age sort of books is what I was going for. Fallen Our Stars again, of course, Thousand Boy Kisses, moi, all the things. Um, yes, my ultimate author's shelf, pretty much Colleen Hoover, Marianne Zapata, Penelope Douglas. I kind of transferred my fantasy shelf over here. We have the Akatar series with my little Feyre dresser. This is from the Nook Knacks shop on Etsy and on Instagram. Love her, always shout out. This is also from her. This is the meadow scene. It's beautiful and sparkly. For my little Twilight section and then part of the Crave series. Then um, we got my Shadow Hunter section. Um, I, Chain of Iron is hiding back there because it just didn't all fit. Like if I put them all forward, there was a big space and gap and that bothered me. And this cover is just so stunning that I faced it outwards and the other one's just hiding back there and it's fine, no one needs to know. Moved my Percy Jackson slash just whatever Olympians series down here. Um, couple series we got the Hush Hush series, the Throne of Glass series, and the um, what is the series called? The Covenant series by Jennifer L. Armentrout. Um, my second copy of the Crave series because Entangled Teen sent me a set and I just they're just chilling there. A bunch of miscellaneous fantasy books, a bunch of Greek mythology books. Draco, no, absolutely not. We're not doing that. Um, this is another jumbled shelf. This is like classics, my Harry Styles section, and my couple of nonfiction books. Uh, it doesn't make sense, no, but it, it just had to happen. Um, I feel like, did I jump around? Sorry, here's all my rom-coms. Beautiful shelf, beautiful moment, um, love it. Not too much organization. Christina Lauren, Tessa Bailey, these are all the summary looking books. I tried to kind of group together some workplace romances and then I just kind of went by the rainbow. I don't know, I was just vibing. Um, we went over this mess. More fantasy. I, ha I haven't read a single book on this shelf besides The Red Queen. Um, that's literally it. And there's this awkward gap here, but we're just gonna pretend like we don't see it. Oh God, that's annoying. And then, um, sci-fi a few more random fantasies and some horror so that's that's these shelves and then yeah i think that's pretty much it do we want to recap this i'm really happy with how the little book nook area turned out i think i'm gonna be really happy to have my favorites behind me this isn't working but now when I'm doing my book reviews, right here you guys will see all my like all-time faves behind me. And it's it's just fun. It's fun to switch it up. Uh, but yeah guys, I think that is it. Thank you for joining me on this literally completely unplanned shelf reorganization slash bookshelf tour. Um, it was a fun time. Thank you for spending my Saturday night with me. I'm probably gonna read now and stay up far later than I should, but um, yeah. That is it for me today. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you very soon. Bye.